Okay, so I saw a few comments on my last few videos in regards to my aim and I want to put a video together on how I improve my aim and how I can hopefully help you guys improve your aim. So I hope you enjoy this video. We'll first start off with some basics. I'll put a list together on the screen now, so if you guys want to skip ahead to certain points you can do. Vertical targeting is basically a custom bullet drop. With it off you'll have the same drop off of your rounds. If you have it on your bullets will curve up to then hit your set distance. Convergence is where your bullets will cross over in the air. As you can see this only matters for wing mounted guns and not for nose mounted. I've explained vertical targeting and convergence but I'll now show you the difference in game. With vertical targeting on, all I need to do is put my crosshair on the plane at 600 meters and shoot. With it off and I put my crosshair on the plane at 600 meters, the bullets will fly under the plane. However, with it on, you'll need to consider that at closer distances, you'll need to aim under the plane due to the bullets trying to loop over to meet your distance. I recommend picking 600 as your distance for convergence and just choose vertical target and on or off, just pick one. Now let's look at our settings. Remove this fucking setting. It is so shit. Tracking camera. You can't see anything, you lose sight of where your cursor is, and you end up getting shot. Are you crying? <laughs> and boom, it's gone. Yippee! We'll now go into a game and talk about heading. Where is he going? How far is he, and how fast is he going? We'll use this DB7 for this demonstration. Thank you very much, DB7. So what I'm visualizing is a line in the direction he looks like he is heading, and I'm gonna do a tracking shot. So I'm still moving my cursor, and hoping that most of my rounds will hit the target. I have this BF109 here as my willing volunteer and participant for this demonstration. He is following my teammate, so I know I can draw a line for the trajectory he's going. He's under 0.5 miles away from me, so I can aim three plane lengths ahead. So always remember, under half a mile or 0.8 kilometers, you can aim roughly three to five plane lengths ahead. Here we have another DB7. God damn, I love shooting these DB7s down. So if you know someone's heading and you're not too confident you can hit your shot, uh, shoot in one spot in the sky so they'll fly straight through your rounds. It's not gonna be a lot of damage, but you're guaranteed to hit them. This is called a leading shot. If you know you have bad aim, do leading shots. They're really good for new players if they don't know how far to lead, lead much further ahead than you think you have to. Use a plane that has cannons to get the most damage. And another way to learn where you need to aim is to play arcade. So I'd recommend playing it and just take a note first of where that indicator is. See where it is, take a mental picture of how far away it is from each plane and aim a little bit further ahead. I think the indicators on here, they make you aim for the tail. If you shoot further in front of the indicator, you'll be able to kill the planes a lot easier and you'll get more consistent hits. But if you notice, like I mentioned earlier, they are always roughly between three to five of the plane lengths ahead. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope that this video is gonna help you guys out. I'm pretty certain if you follow these steps, keep applying these rules, you'll notice that your skill level will start to increase and your aim is going to increase as well. And please subscribe so you'll be notified of my next video when I upload it. Give me a like as well because that will help me out. And also leave a comment. If you've got any tips that you could share with anyone, post a comment down below.